Okay, Amit. Uh, Amit, my next question is about some rewards that uh, you have got so far. Like right? maybe in terms of uh, some satisfaction, some fulfillment, or some probably monetary wise. But what are your views about those rewards, and what do you want to suggest to people? Uh, what they can expect, uh, uh, you know, by doing this activity. Uh, I think the only reward I would say is like you know. Uh, the best thing that you could uh, get is uh, your health uh, and uh, the positive thinking that it brings in uh, there is something that you know you uh, will find in uh, every runner uh, telling mm-hmm. uh, each other that hey have you experienced runners high runners high is kind of uh you know an experience that you get which is unexplainable but it's a happy joy kind of feeling that you get and generally it is you know uh coming when you are running uh continuously and that i experience every now and then uh there is a immense amount of joy and satisfaction after each and every run whether it's you know 3 km run or 30 km run it's absolutely brilliant the uh scientifically uh, they are called endorphins so let me just explain uh, so when you run uh, you know there are a lot of hormones that uh, get generated uh, and they are happy hormones we call it endorphins and that's where your you know that satisfaction comes in that that feeling of happiness comes in and that is what running brings in especially for me and uh, this is the this is the only reward that you can you know get for yourself it's very very important uh, that you realize what are the benefits you are getting out of it uh, for me uh, there are absolutely tons of benefits i'm getting for example if i go out for early morning run uh, my thinking starts about uh, my work as well uh, you know i can start uh, uh, thinking about how i am to plan my day so you know that is really the helpful that is a reward that i get it you physically you are drained out after your run but basically it builds your energy over the time mm-hmm. uh, you are builds your stem, stamina over the time mm-hmm. and that is another reward or plus point that running gets it really helps you as a to plan things so when you are running you are in your own zone you you are you know you're getting your me time you are thinking about what are the things that you want to do you know today tomorrow you know there are tons of tons of emotions and thoughts which are going on and the best way to capture it is through running uh that's what i do uh, i just go out for run there are tons of thoughts coming in i come down and put it down on on a piece of paper if that's very very important and mm-hmm. you know it really helps me to organize things mm-hmm. uh obviously there are other health benefits that you know you can ask doctors or physios uh, mm-hmm. or you can find the internet you know cardiovascular uh, mm-hmm. benefit is there uh another benefit that i enjoy is uh, uh through running is eating a lot uh i enjoy <laughs> my food uh so i try to not restrict myself through any kind of food limitations or the quantities i yes. just go out and enjoy my food mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yes yes please continue go cool. no so i was just saying about uh, mm-hmm. i'm a, a foodie uh, i really enjoy my food and uh, uh i i don't have to worry about you know how many calories i'm i'm taking because i know the next day i'm going to go out and burn those calories so right. that is another reward that you can think of uh you know and that is what i'm enjoying and and, and nowadays nowadays this is the big very big thing i mean like you don't have to worry about how much calorie you you just uh, you know put in so <laughs> but so it's a big thing you know like Uh, people constantly run about you know they think about ki agar mai kaise ye how will i burn out this you know jo bhi chana puri khaya hai wo <laughs> so, no, no absolutely mm. absolutely and actually uh, aur mere sath thoda sa ye bhi hua hai ki i have started become very conscious uh, about my uh, my food or you know the diet mm-hmm. uh, because that is what running does over the uh, over the period of time you know mm-hmm. you always start thinking hey tomorrow i want to go for a lo- long run i want mm-hmm. to have carbs or should i have pasta should i have rice you know so you sh- you start thinking about that and then you know once you finish your run oh i want to have proteins so you don't want to if you don't want to have protein shake or anything you can think about you know what are the other elements of uh, uh, proteins that you can have you know 
the meal so you start thinking about those kind of stuff which i was not doing you know previously i was just hogging food not thinking about you know protein kahan se milega carbs kahan se milega i was never doing that but nowadays i'm thinking about it uh, being in the uh, uk I, i used to be a social drinker Mm-hmm. so i used to go out me uh, you know meet friends or go out for pub lunch with your colleagues you have your pint of beer and there is alcohol which is going on but now because i'm training throughout the year i i always think oh do i really want to have that so that has cut down completely uh, uh, and uh, i've become very conscious so i'm like you know when i'm training i don't drink uh, that's the conscious effort that i have taken and that really helped me uh, as well so there are different different things that are really built up over the years over the time uh and which i have really realized they are really rewarding mm-hmm. uh, for my health and uh for for my running mm-hmm. and uh, this is what what it is helping and other thing i would say is it has given me an immense opportunity to invest my time and energy doing things which would be beneficial for others so obviously coaching is one of them but through running i have been involved with uh, so many charities uh, yeah. i have meeting so many new people and you know learning about their life learning about their journey and that has given me an uh, you know a perspective that hey amit what you are thinking or what your world is 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 fine but you know there are different people with different perspective different world learn about them you know pick up good things which will help you as well so that is really helping me you know meeting new people learning about their life learning about their running journey as i said uh, at the mm-hmm. beginning as well mm-hmm. you know i go out and uh, talk to different uh, people you know go out for runs and they will talk about something uh, running that hey amit i'm doing this thing you know i'm taking this diet uh and that's what i pick up as well oh i have never tried this uh, yeah. like you know i think few weeks back somebody said amit uh, when you go out for long distance running what is the thing that you take so i think i said i generally take oat bars mm-hmm. right i carry my water bag mm-hmm. uh, that is my energy gel and they said oh have you tried banana chips and i was like i've tried banana but i've never tried banana chips so you you know you pick up those kind of new new things and then right. you try it out it might work for you it might not work for you but you learn different things you know what different people are trying so that is thing and i was talking and, about charity and it was it is, involved with i mean that is very honest of you that you are sharing here that okay you also learn things you know from uh, the this people right uh like most of the time you know like if you have 14 15 years of experience in this uh activity you you could have easily say no i am i'm the best i know everything but uh, very nice of you <laughs> yeah. i think i think that is all about uh life isn't it we right. we learn things we unlearn things and we relearn things right uh that is a continuous journey so that is no different for me uh, as a runner or as a as a human being as well But I said, you know, these are these are the things which which are so so uh, intriguing and uh, you know so attractive that you know it always makes me feel that you know I'm learning something new or I'm unlearning something, uh, you know, every now and then. So this is really helping. And I was talking about charities. Uh, yes. Through running, it has given me an immense opportunity to contribute uh, to to society. You know. I've been involved with uh, uh, different charities. Uh, recently, I was involved with a charity uh, about uh, Sri Jagannath uh, Society uh, UK, mm-hmm. which are trying to, you know, uh, gather this fund f- mm-hmm. uh, to support the the temple back in India. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were doing this challenge of twenty four thousand nine hundred miles in a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, it's it's it is like a parikrama of the of the earth. so you know those miles mm-hmm. so i got an opportunity through one of the running events to meet that group i was so inspired i said i want to contribute as well you know how do i contribute and they said i mean don't you you know you don't have to pay money or anything you you contribute your running miles so yeah. you know whatever you are running you can add those running miles to our parikrama distance that we are right. doing mm-hmm. so i joined that uh, that group uh, absolutely brilliant group there are uh, you know kids from year age 12 to people age 65 you know who are running constantly you know to 
to do this miles in a year right uh, and they were doing it in different places in the uk so i got an opportunity to go and you know do uh, in couple of places with them but you know so you know meeting these new people i was talking about you know getting uh, to know what they are doing and getting involved with their journey is so yeah. inspiring yeah. so and others other uh, charities as well the very close to my heart charity is breast cancer now mm-hmm. uh breast cancer now is something that i have been supporting for last find out six years uh, on regular basis mm-hmm. uh i did my uh ultra marathon the longest distance which is 100 kilometers mm-hmm. and uh that was for breast cancer now but every now and then i get involved with that uh charity uh the reason i do it uh is uh they are doing absolutely fantastic work mm-hmm. uh, to help and support people who are suffering and uh, uh they are also investing in research work so they are you know thinking of how to save more and more lives who are you know mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. going through this trauma mm-hmm. or who will catch this you know disease in the future as well mm-hmm. uh, when i said it very uh, close to my heart my mom uh, she uh, was a, a, a breast cancer patient and she suffered a lot uh, you know she went through multiple chemotherapies uh, radiotherapies uh, and uh, she she fought her battle but she couldn't uh, you know fight the battle in the end and uh, she kept she succumbed to the uh, mm-hmm. disease so uh, i really want to do something for you know for that charity and uh, that's what i uh, i do it my running event generally is supporting breast cancer now yeah, right very nice nice okay uh, okay is there anything that you want to share about uh, uh you know running or anything that which i might have missed in asking but you think that okay it may be helpful, helpful to the audience uh a- anything uh, that could be you know like no absolutely um <laughs> i think last 3 years has been quite challenging for all of us uh because of covid uh and one thing that we have realized uh is how important your well being is mm-hmm. right both mental and physical mm-hmm. and uh if you think that you want to uh invest in your well-being whether it is through running through walking through cycling any sports through meditation through yoga go ahead and do it don't wait for it that you know i will do it tomorrow tomorrow is never going to come right it's going to get postponed if you think like that mm. if you are really really uh, passionate about yourself your well-being your surroundings well-being as well because if your health is good your a uh, well-being is good you will be able to support your surrounding as well and uh, just go ahead and do it you know whatever you want to do uh, just go ahead and do it uh, you know do not do not delay there is nothing uh, like tomorrow mm-hmm. uh, it is everything is is now believe in now the power of now will help you to take it further right 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 very much inspiring amit thank you so much and <laughs> it i'm i'm sure this way is going to help so many people uh, i think this was needed this was really needed so no no thanks very much uh, yes. otherwise you are doing but, absolutely but, fantastic no, but before work. before before closing i have <laughs> more questions because i was researching you i mean i was going through your instagram profile uh, and the photography you know that you, that you are doing i mean this is really something different amit i mean uh, i'm not just doing it for the sake of uh, you know like i'm not uh, uh doing this but uh, the way you are taking photographs uh i think it shows that you have some different perception uh of looking at the looking at things you know you have some different ideas i i, I believe you know I, i want to understand what do you why do you take this kind of photography and what do you think i i want to understand your thought process basically <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know other way about about that but uh I I had this uh passion for photography uh probably around 10 11 years back. Uh I whenever I used to uh look at something I used to feel that I should capture it. Uh and every object you know every landscape every monument or even the the people 
you know, if you're taking, uh, you know, those kind of uh, photography, it has a story to tell you. Uh, mm. And that is very interesting. So I started uh, doing it uh, 10 years, 12 years back, uh, where uh, I really wanted to capture beautiful things. So mm. I was going out for a holiday in Europe and I didn't have the camera. Mm. And uh, I really wanted to do that. So I bought a camera before that holiday, went mm. out and took a lot of pictures. Mm. But what I realized is doing the uh, uh, processing of the pictures, uh, it was a DSLR camera. So you have to, you know, you're taking raw pictures, you have to convert into JPEG. So you have to process the pictures. And what I realized that, you know, every picture has some story or something which was very interesting. And I wanted to read more after capturing it. For example, if I go and capture a cathedral, right? Uh, I would like to understand when this cathedral was built, uh, you know, what was the story behind it? You know, uh, who are the people involved with it? Uh, it's very, very interesting to, to, to know that. And that is my idea of photography is mm-hmm. I want to learn about the things that I have never explored, but I, if I get an opportunity to, to capture that, mm-hmm. you know, I would do that and then, you know, take it back and think about it. You know, what is it? For mm-hmm. example, recently I went to a place called Cotswold in the UK mm-hmm. and uh, obviously they have beautiful villages and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. While coming back, uh, uh, my daughter, uh, she's a big fan of Harry Potter and uh, there was a, a cathedral uh, in uh, Gloucestershire where Harry Potter, uh, some portions of Harry Potter were shot mm-hmm. and she said, you know, uh, it's on our way. Let's have a st- you know a stopover. We'll just go in and then come out. Mm. I said absolutely fine. But I went there. I learned something new. Uh, so I we went in, inside the uh, cathedral, and we were talking to the priest and uh, you know other uh, people from from the church, and they told us that every cathedral is of a shape of a cross, which I never knew before. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's like, yeah, so every cathedral uh, is built of a, you know, in the shape of a cross. But that is something that I learned uh, new. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is, it is something which is, you know, always uh, uh, helps me to understand, you know, taking those pictures, what it could be. Sometimes I would just take a picture of flower, mm-hmm. uh, but, you know, it also... Uh, allows you to think how flower blooms, you know, the best season is the spring season uh, and all those stuff. So it really helps me. But yeah, if it is very interesting, if I think that there is something that is very attractive and I really want to understand, I will capture it. Uh, yeah. And that is my my take on photography. It's not that, you know, I'm a fantastic photographer or anything. I really want to capture the moment. Uh, and then, you know, probably process it later on. I, I was jokingly saying it to my wife. Uh, she's like, uh, oh, you go everywhere and take loads of picture. You know, you don't have time to process it as well. And I said, probably it will be my retirement hobby. You know, I will just go through that, you know, albums and albums and mm-hmm. just revisit the moments and cherish those those moments. So that is my take on photography. Wow. <laughs> I feel like we should continue. Okay, I mean, we should keep on talking and talking. You know? <laughs> but I'm sure I'm going to uh, I'm going to request you to please uh, join this kind of conversation once again. And with this time, probably we'll talk someday on different topics. Uh, so I'm sending you the invitation right now for the next uh, interview. <laughs> okay. No, thanks very much. Uh, uh, no, thanks very much, Advait. And uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Uh, you Thank are you. absolutely uh, you know, a gem of a person uh, who has got a positive attitude and outlook towards life and I really uh, like that aspect. Uh, you have been helping numerous and numerous groups and people through tapping. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, to be honest, I think, you know, uh, running is one aspect, tapping is another aspect, but, you know, you are yeah. doing uh, something which is phenomenal. You know, you're trying to bring uh, joy and happiness through tapping and uh, keep Thank doing you. the great work that you are doing uh, and uh, it's always always a pleasure talking to you same here same here thank you Amit thank you so much thank you for your time and 
yeah those those uh, those are medals or what uh, in the back uh, yes those are medals uh, those are all my running medals uh, great so this is the latest one that i got i was talk you asked me about london so this right. is the virtual london oh okay wow yeah i i really like this uh, medal because it has got a braille as well ah okay so so people who know who are blind mm. Uh, mm-hmm. probably they can also you know by touch they can feel it and wow. read it wow. Wow. in fact in fact i uh, i saw that um, that person's video uh, kipoch gay right you mentioned me uh, when we were discussing offline so yeah i i saw his uh, his interview with uh, rangan chatterjee dr rangan chatterjee uh, right yeah and yeah i mean you know I, i never knew about that guy i mean you know so see this is the advantage of interacting with people right i mean so you you uh, you feel that okay you know so many things but you know only <laughs> few things so now that guy is absolute is you know uh, inspiration to millions and millions of people yeah, around the world yeah yeah he is the fastest marathoner that we have got he has broken right. the record of sub 2 right. hour marathon I think yeah. he ran in one hour fifty nine minutes forty seconds. Right, right. Uh, right. And uh, he is uh, somebody who is inspiring because he thinks no human is limit. Right. So you know, I think uh, many many years back, scientists said that you know, no marathon runner will be able to break that two hour barrier. Wow. Well, uh, okay. And he said that you know I will break it. He mm-hmm. trained for it. and then he broke it even by you know uh, 20 seconds but he broke it you know mm. he did it under 2 hours it's he's absolutely brilliant inspiring uh, there is a speech uh, of his mm. in oxford university as well and uh, mm-hmm. it is he's he's just talking about you know what running has done to him mm. and you know what are the things he think running can do to the world as well and mm-hmm. it's absolutely inspiring Yeah, yeah, a very, a very normal-looking guy, and very, you know, uh, coming from Kenya, I think, right? He's from Kenya. And, That's right. And yeah, I mean, so inspiring. No, absolutely. There are there are so many people who are inspiring. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you talk about India, mm-hmm. uh, Milind Soman is absolutely ah, brilliant and inspiring, right? Isn't right. it? What he is do doing mm-hmm. uh, for the running world, what he has done mm-hmm. for running in India. Uh, I think is absolutely inspiring. I think he has taken the running level from here mm. to here yeah. uh, because he has inspired so many people, especially women. Mm. You know, uh, his wife, his mother, they are also involved with running. His mother mm. has shown women that do not worry about the running clothing which is required. You can even run in saris. <laughs> right, right, right. So it's there's so many so many people you know who are absolutely there uh, and it doesn't mean that you know these are big names right these are right. the famous names right but uh, I'm a part of running club and uh, I go out and and run with this group which are different ability group right they're not the fastest runner you know mm. they are just very new to running but the things that they you know talk about their journey towards you know uh, running. is so different from mine or you know others that i have known but it's at the same time it's very inspiring mm. uh, you know so i said at the beginning you know running has given me an ability to meet and talk to different people meet new yeah. people and understand that perspective and that is very intriguing and that mm. really you know uh, uh makes me going uh, to this group runs uh, mm. and you know understand that hey amit your perspective is 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 good but there is better perspective as well uh, around you you know tap on it learn from it and implement right 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 thank you man thank you so much for your time and thank you so much uh, for this conversation it was really helping and i'm sure when people will watch this they will get uh, you know so many things to to think about to learn about and uh, they will i hope they will implement uh, whatever they will see in this interview <laughs> that's what no thank you for thank you very much for for having me and uh, it was lovely uh, conversation with you thank, thank you. you thank you bye